Welcome back to another awesome day, another awesome vlog. I have a new crafting video for you today. Today I'm going to be using K & Company paper, which I use a lot. This is actually one of my favorite papers. One of the reasons I like it so much is it is two-sided. I love two-sided paper. There are multiple reasons that I like two-sided, one of which is for today's project, two-sided paper is necessary because I want both sides of my project to look nice and be finished. So I'm actually going to be using the baby pack and the reason that I'm making this as a using baby paper is because it's kind of just a cute little gift that you can put with someone else's present. So if you're giving someone a baby present, this is the perfect addition to the package. So this is what it looks like finished. And I'm going to be using six by six squares of paper. So this was, I just took one 12 by 12 sheet of paper, cut it into four pieces, and I came up with these six by six squares. So I'm going to use my Fiskars cutter and I'm going to be using, so I'm not sure if you guys know, but the Fiskars cutter comes with the blade that cuts, but then it also, you can also purchase a little blade that will just mark a line on your paper, it's called scoring, that will allow you to have a nice, clean, straight fold. So that's what I'm gonna be using today. I'm going to be using the black scoring blade. You don't wanna press down too hard because you don't wanna cut all the way through, you just wanna make a crease so that it makes it easy to fold. So you're gonna need three six by six squares of paper. Two-sided paper would be the best for this project. I'm going to use my scorer. I'm going to line this up at the three inch mark so it's right down the middle and I'm going to score so that it will easily fold in half without me having to measure anything. I'm then going to turn the paper the other direction and do the exact same thing. I'm going to line it up at the three inch mark and I'm going to score so that now it will fold both ways. And then I'm gonna take my piece of paper and I'm gonna score diagonally. So I'm just gonna line up the corners right on the line here. And I'm gonna score from one end to the next. This is going to allow my papers to fold in and fold out when I show you the little accordion photo album that we're gonna be making. So you're gonna do that with all three pages. Once you've done that with all three pages, you're going to glue them together diagonally. And so now you can see why two-sided paper is so important because obviously I want both sides of this project to look nice. So I have taken my paper facing one direction for the top. I've now glued these squares together for the middle piece and I've glued the same place for the bottom piece. So now we have this really cute little project that will accordion open and closed. So the idea of this is that they can then take pictures of their baby, put them on here, fold this up easily. This can go into a wallet, a purse, a bag, and they can take them out and show people. So this is basically just the base model of the accordion photo book. You can do all types of things to this to make it look cute, special, pop in certain ways. Um, you can even add cute little sayings off to the sides about babies or babies for smile so that they have a guideline of different types of pictures to put in their accordion photo book. This gift is also really great for grandmas who have just uh, their um, one of their children has just had a baby and so they're a new grandparent and they're obviously going to want to be showing off pictures to everyone um, there are multiple places that pictures can be put they would be little three by three pictures but those are plenty big to show off pictures they can put them right down the middle they can put them on the sides if this is someone that you know or even a family member you may already have the pictures that you can add in and um, give it to a mother for mother's day or a grandmother for mother's day there are all types of ideas so you can also then take some solid paper and cut 
at the three, I'm sorry, two and a quarter mark. I need to change my blade from the scoring blade now to the cutter because now I want to cut my paper. So at the two and a quarter mark, I'm going to cut and then I'm going to cut that the other direction, two and a quarter mark. So now it's a square and I am going to add that up to the top. So that gives it a little bit different color, a little more dimension. I've made it a little bit smaller than the actual square size so that you can see the purple behind it. In this square, you can also type something up cute with the baby's name, date of birth, things like that. Um, there are all different types of ideas that you can do to make this special and unique. I'm going to add the pink at the top and I'm also going to add it at the bottom. Once again, I'm using my Elmer's purple glue stick so that I can see exactly where the glue is going on, but then it disappears and you can't see any purple on your project. And look how cute that is. It just adds a little more dimension to it. There are all different things you can do. I have some really cute little stickers here. Um, these are Martha Stewart Quilted Heart stickers, and these are Martha Stewart Crafts Welcome Little One stickers. So I'm going to take a Welcome Little One cute little tag sticker, just like that, and I'm going to put it over here off to the side, and I'm going to take one of these heart stickers. here on the bottom part of the purple and as you can see that just adds a little decoration a little dimension don't forget you can always add different types of tapes you can buy tapes at the uh, any type of craft store they have them at Michael's Joann's <coughs> excuse me you can buy them all over the place and they are just decorative little tapes that you can design your cards, pages, or projects with. And don't forget you can also use pearls, jewels, all types of things to make this exactly what you want. So once you get it all together and get all of the creases in so that it'll fold together nicely, the last thing you want to do is you want to take some ribbon. I'm going to use this pretty lace yellow ribbon and I'm going to glue it to the bottom so that it becomes a part of my project. I'm not going to use a glue stick though. I'm going to use some glue dots. That you can get these glue dots at Walmart, Michaels, sometimes you can even find them at the dollar store. And I'm going to tear them apart. I'm going to use two glue dots. And I'm going to put one right here directly on my ribbon. And I'm going to put the other one over just a couple of inches directly on my ribbon. And that is where I'm going to put down my accordion book. I'm going to stick it down so that it's right in the middle. So as you can see, it is attached to the back. And then I'm going to bring the ribbon to the front. And I'm going to tie a really pretty bow. You can make this as plain and simple or as fancy as you'd like, um, depending on the person that you're giving it to. Um, you can do all types of things with it, but once you get your bow tied, it's really, really cute. It becomes a cute little package uh, or a little addition to your package that you can give to the mom-to-be, grandma-to-be, for someone for Mother's Day with pictures already included. So keep this in mind. It's also really fun to do at Christmas time. You can add pictures of if you and a friend go somewhere every year at Christmas time and always take a picture. You can add that picture from the last five years for a really cute little memory and a really cute little keepsake. So keep this in mind. It's an awesome, cute, little, simple project.
fun to add to any gift or if you're just looking for something cute to give to the girls that are all coming over for a tea party, anything like that, this is a fun and easy project. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this project, don't forget to smash the like button. I'm going to put the information and the measurements and dimensions in the comments down below so that you can make this at home if you'd like. Thanks so much. I hope you guys are having an awesome day. Don't forget to smash the subscribe button as well and keep watching. Bye!